So today is glioblastoma awareness day. Uh, glioblastoma is a type of brain tumor, malignant brain tumor, uh, that is really one of the most common forms of brain cancer. I had a number of requests from people in my comments over the last couple of months to talk about glioblastoma, so today seems like the right day to do so. Now behind me here, I have an image of a slice of brain with a glioblastoma. So I'm gonna move out of the way and show this now. All right, so you can see uh, it's quite obvious, even if you've never seen brain tissue, this area here under my finger, vaguely heart-shaped area. This is a glioblastoma. Um, they also call it glioblastoma multiforme. It is a type of malignant astrocytoma that can be widely invasive in the brain. So because these tumors can be widely invasive, the symptoms are variable. Uh, it can be headache. And again, I ask you, don't diagnose yourself on TikTok. If you have headaches, you probably most likely just have the same headaches we all have. Other more severe presentations would be something like a seizure, and also um, this tumor has a capacity to hemorrhage. So on occasion, the first presentation is loss of consciousness. Person goes to the ER, they put them in the CT scanner, and they find a hemorrhage, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. So again, you don't have to have neuropathology background to see that dark brownish area uh, is actually an area of hemorrhage in a glioblastoma. Now, as I said earlier, these tumors uh, are very dangerous tumors. And uh, from a forensic perspective, uh, do I see them? And the answer is essentially never. But you have to remember the job of the forensic pathologist is to diagnose death when it is unexpected. Uh, most commonly, when someone dies with a glioblastoma, it's because it is expected and therefore they do not need an autopsy. Driving this point home is this table behind me, which uh, is a series of almost 55,000 autopsies done over a 20-year period in one uh, medical examiner office. And they went through and they looked at all the cases uh, that had brain tumors. Most common was meningioma, which is a benign brain tumor. We'll talk about that soon. Secondly, astrocytoma, which technically glioblastoma is an astrocytoma. And third, glioblastoma, which is the high-grade form or a grade four astrocytoma. Only six cases out of 55,000 autopsies. The difficulty with this tumor is that uh, it infiltrates at the edges. That makes it difficult to surgically resect. A neurosurgeon once told me that it's like taking a handful of red paint, throwing it into a bucket of white paint, and then you're only supposed to get the red paint out. In other words, it's difficult to know if you got it all 